Hola, good people. This is your man, DJ Wolf D, coming at you with yet another Akai MPC software tutorial video. This will actually be a software and hardware-based video. Uh, I'm going to be using the MPC Renaissance, but this will apply to the MPC Studio, of course, as well. Uh, I've had a lot of people hit me up and ask me this question, and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the strange thing about it is that like I, I hopped online to try to find out whether or not anyone had a tutorial video for this, and I couldn't even find anything. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, I guess I am overdue uh, for this video then. And a lot of people ask me how to go about connecting an external piece of MIDI gear, whether it be an external keyboard, external synthesizer, or an external sound module, how to connect that to your MPC Renaissance or studio so that you can sequence that uh, instrument into the uh, MPC software. Um, so I only have one piece of external gear. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any sound modules or anything like that anymore. All I have is my Yamaha DX100, which I used to play the talk box with. So this is what we're going to use today to, uh, to make this happen. So uh, even before we turn on the software or do anything, uh, one specific thing that you are going to need to do. And what you're going to need to do is connect the actual MIDI cables. So yeah, we are talking these, all right? You're going to need two of these MIDI cables uh, from the MIDI in and MIDI out of your external uh, keyboard or sound module or whatever, as well as... Flip this around. Plugging that in, plugging the other ends of those cords into the uh, MIDI in and MIDI out of the MPC Renaissance or the MPC Studio. If you have the Studio, uh, these MIDI ports are not built in. Uh, if, if you haven't pulled them out, uh, look in the box that your MPC Studio came with and you'll find two uh, MIDI adapter cables. Uh, there are going to be two little slots for you to plug those adapter cables in, uh, which act as your MIDI in and your MIDI out. Okay, so the reason why, why we need to make this happen, and let me plug this back in here. Uh, okay, we need to plug these in, the MIDI in and the MIDI out, so that all of your gear can talk to each other. So, for example, when I play something on this Yamaha DX100, that MIDI uh, information gets sent through the MIDI out to the MIDI in of the MPC Renaissance. And then the MPC um, software will be able to recognize what MIDI notes I'm playing and record that MIDI information into uh, the MPC software. And then when I hit play to play that sequence back or whatever it is that I recorded in the MPC software, when I hit play to play it back, the MIDI out, oops, yeah, right here, the MIDI out will play those MIDI notes back to the MIDI in of my external gear and play the stuff back to me. Okay, so that's the purpose of MIDI in and out. So they can talk to each other. MIDI out, you're playing the stuff into the sequencer, and then hitting play on your sequencer, the MPC software, it'll play those recorded MIDI notes back, so it'll go from MIDI out of that to the MIDI in of your external gear and actually play the notes back so you can hear them. All right, now that we've gone through that, uh, yeah, we can start making this happen. So first thing you should do is turn on your external gear First, after you plug in your MIDI cables, turn on the external gear first, all right? Let that come on first. After you turn on the gear, then go ahead and turn on your uh, MPC uh, Renaissance or your MPC Studio, all right? The reason why you want to do this is so that um, uh, when you do turn on your Ren or your Studio and then turn on the MPC software, which I'm doing right now, your external gear will already be on, so it will automatically recognize that you have some stuff plugged into it, all right? So that's what we want to make happen. That's why you want to do it in that order. Turn on your external gear first, then turn on your Ren or Studio and the uh, MPC software. Okay, now 
the default setting, of course, every time you turn on the NPC Studios, and it, it automatically creates uh, a drum program for you, program program 001, uh, which we don't need right now. So um, you can leave it there, you can delete it, but we don't need it right now, so I'll go ahead and delete it. Our very first track, we don't want a drum track, we don't want a plug-in, we don't want a key group, we want a MIDI instrument. So this is the type of instrument we're gonna create. So go to track and select MIDI, all right? Uh, so as you can see, these default settings kick in. Um, MIDI 001 is the, the program that it named it automatically by default. Uh, so just so uh, you, you can keep track of uh, what you're creating here. Go ahead and rename that. The specific MIDI instrument that I'm using is a Yamaha DX100, so I'll go ahead and rename this Yamaha DX100. Of course, this is not something that you have to do. You could just leave it MIDI001 if you want to, but uh, I, I like to stay organized, so I'll automatically just rename that right out the gate. So I automatically know this is my Yamaha DX100. Okay, remember I showed you those ports in the back? Uh, take a quick peek at that once again here. Uh, the MPC Renaissance has two MIDI inputs and it has four MIDI outputs. Once again, on the studio, you're not going to have that. The studio is just going to have one MIDI input and one MIDI output. Okay, so uh, as you can see uh, in this port section, it gives me those options for the MIDI out, one, two, three, or four, which they name A, B, C, or D here. And I'm using uh, MIDI out uh, option or slot one, okay? MIDI channel one, that can stay on one because the default setting for my external piece of gear is uh, MIDI channel one, yeah, so nothing needs to be changed in terms of the MIDI channel. Uh, you know, if you're just starting out with these absolute basics here, the default settings are all, will already be in place. You will not have to change uh, MIDI channels unless you specifically went in and changed the MIDI channel of your piece of external gear. You know, uh, it may be on channel eight right now, so you would need to change it to one, or it might be on 16, so you need to change it to one, you know, whatever. <laughs> or, or if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of MIDI channels, if, if MIDI channels is completely foreign to you, then don't even worry about what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> your default setting will be on MIDI channel one and you won't have to do anything, all right? <laughs> so, a couple other things that we will have to do and we'll be all done, all right? So now we see that this port is already in place. Yes, that's the one we have it plugged into. So you need to go up to NPC and click Preferences, all right? First thing we want to do is click MIDI and make sure that our uh, MIDI input on the NPC Renaissance is MIDI port one, and that's the one that we chose. Uh, we're using um, MIDI input uh, port one, because once again, I, I told you that the Ren has two MIDI in slots and it has four MIDI out slots. So as you can see here, active MIDI inputs, it has two and we're using port one. And the MIDI outputs, I told you it has four and we're also using MIDI output port one. All right, so we're all good on that. You can click okay. Actually, there's one other thing. Let's open that back up, preferences. Now, instead of going to MIDI, you're gonna to go to sync. We just wanna make sure this is all in place as well. All right, um, I'm going to be sending out just a standard MIDI clock signal in order for my MPC Renaissance and software to be able to talk to my Yamaha DX100. All right, so receive MIDI clock and send MIDI clock. That's exactly what I want. If someone else wanted to use MIDI time code, then obviously this is where you would go to change the MIDI time code, set the frame rates, all that good stuff. I don't need MIDI time code right now. I'm just keeping it simple. MIDI clock receive, MIDI clock send. And where am I sending this to? Once again, my four uh, port options here. Port one, that's the one that we're using. So this is all I need to check here for this. MIDI clock, send and receive, and MIDI port one, which is, was already selected for me, so I, I didn't have to do anything on this screen. I just wanted to check and make sure that that was all straight. Click OK. Now, that's it. We are actually ready to record. So 
Uh, we have our, our, our default sequence uh, already set up. Sequence one, two bars, 120 beats per minute. Uh, and you guys can hear my Yamaha DX100. Put the talk box thingamajiggy in my mouth. Okay. So now I can actually go ahead and record something. So. Yep, you hear it playing it back. And you can see it on the screen as well. So that was it. Now when I, when I hit play, let me turn this up a little. That's it. I just recorded that, as you can see. And here, that's it. That's all it took to be able to plug in my external gear, make sure it was all synced up, and record the MIDI data into the uh, MPC software. So now if I wanted to expand on that, I'll quickly uh, create a new track, create a drum track. I will throw a drum kit to the pads and just program a beat along with that. And that's it. All right. So once again, that's all it takes to uh, make sure you have uh, your external gear connected properly. Open up the preferences, making sure that uh, all the slots are uh, chosen correctly to make sure everything is syncing up properly. And that's it. All right. Uh, it's your man Wolf D signing out. Hopefully this helped. Peace.